here she is. Oh, I haven't been in here for a while. What's that? Water pump. Yeah, there was some weird noises going on. The water pump was on its way out, so I got replaced. Sounds like I've got a slight exhaust leak somewhere. Ugh. That's looking pretty shit. I did put new uh, plug leads in. I didn't get a video of doing the... Well, I did get a video of putting the new spark plug leads in, but I forgot to put it into the last video that I did. These are the wheels that I used to have on it, by the way. They're the, uh, like, NL Concord Sportsman ones or whatever. You know, they had the wire ones and then these 16-inch. Uh, They're like the, the champagne gold color one. I wanted, I always loved these wheels and I wanted the silver ones. Um, but these come up pretty cheap on eBay a few years ago. But I'm going to have to put... I'm either going to need to put new tires on these and put them on just for a roadworthy which is a pain in the ass because it's like even cheap tires is going to be like $400 just just for that but I might be able to steal wheels off my old man's ute or something to put it through roadworthy um, turbo has to come off for the roadworthy uh, intercoolers got to go I should be able to leave the, the injectors in um, there's the Mad FG yeah, I should be able to leave the injectors in, leave the fuel pump in, leave the J-chip in. But, um... Yeah, turbo's gotta go. Uh... Joint heat exchanger has to go. I do want to put a, a factory, like a, a new front bar on. I gotta decide what I'm gonna do with the intercooler setup in the future. I saw somebody... On one of the E-Series pages on Facebook, somebody got their ELXR6 engineered in Victoria with a Barra Turbo. You know, everyone reckons it's it's too much of a nightmare to actually engineer one of these things with a turbo. You'll never pass the emissions test. But because he used factory motor, factory injectors, factory ECU, factory exhaust, mate suit, I believe. Apparently, the guy didn't need to do the emissions test, which is like the really costly part of it. I don't know how he went about the front mount. But yeah, that's got me really excited, so I need to talk to an engineer. Not that I can afford to do a barra swap and get engineering at the moment, but I think that's something to work towards because I'd really like to have this thing be turbo and legal. The plan was just to rip all the turbo stuff off, get it roadworthy, and and then put it all back on, although I do want to make changes like the um, internally gated 3582 and changes to the intercooler. I might need a smaller heat exchanger just so I can actually fit it behind the front bar. Also, I'm gonna have to take these seats out, of course, put the original seats back in. That's not really an issue. That won't take long to do. Hopefully they don't have an issue with this. Not that that's a big, that's not really an issue to change, but yeah. I did think I had a, a slight leak from the sump gasket around the back somewhere. So that might need to be addressed for the roadworthy as well. That fuel pump is still very loud. Maybe I'll rip it out and check the uh, hose on it again. I'm sick of doing it, but... But I'm just glad I didn't cut holes for the intercooler, so when it comes time for a roadworthy, they don't have anything to pick on there. That's weird, um, my friend's car with the EL uh, that we turboed. That um that had like a an issue with rev hanging at around 2,000. But I think that was there before 
the turbo. So um, we were kind of thinking perhaps it was something to do with the um, the IAC or the or like a vacuum leak or something from the intake manifold gasket or whatever. But I just noticed when you rev this past 2,000, it kind of stop. It kind of stops on the way back down at 2,000 for a second. I've never noticed that before. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do, whether it's to turbo this motor again after it's back on the road and just try to keep things well hidden. Not that the turbo stuff was the issue when I got that fucking sticker, which it looks like my old man's tried to rip it off. But um, I'm gonna have to keep the back a little bit higher to keep cops off my tail. But then again, because the, the front's still at factory height, I haven't put the front coilovers in yet. Um, I think the fact that the front is high and the rear is low is what kind of put the cops on my tail. Because the back's not that low really, but I do... I wasn't going to argue with the guy because I know that the muffler is only about 80 mil off the ground. So... But to look at, because it doesn't have like side skirts or anything, it doesn't actually look that low. I mean, with the long grass it kind of looks a bit low though, but it, it's really not. And like. If you look there, the guard's like spot on at the top of the tyre. So it's, it doesn't even look slammed or anything. Even though this is... I put the coilovers in at full drop and it still didn't even quite tuck rim. And then I jacked them up a bit to get to where it is there. I think my, my old man's actually had had a go at putting them up but he didn't quite know uh, what he was doing, I think. So I'm going to have to wind those up a bit. Um, and see if I can get it through a roadworthy with the rear coilovers in. But I don't know about my chances of that. I still need to paint these wheels too because I don't like them being all shiny. This one I'm silver. Just like factory, like BF, you know. Everyone calls them silver argents. They're just, you know, the, the silver version of the dark argent. But yeah, I don't like the polish look. But yeah, I can't I can't get it through road with the with the 19s on it either. We'll figure it all out. Did you know you could buy chloroform online? I didn't know that. $114 for a 500 ml bottle. <laughs> Did you come across that by accident? No. No? Going for a cruise in the big bad VZ Senator. Which is V-Bro. Anyway, I'm still not sure what's happening with the ED. I don't know whether to work towards doing the whole barrel swap and get it engineered. It's going to be very expensive. On the other hand, if I just turbo the single overhead cam again, uh, chances are I'm going to get a yellow sticker again. Sora. Um, I don't know which way to go about it. I'm still on the turbo anyway for the Datsun. Expensive. Oh yes, an XL or XK or XM or XP. Now I'm kind of thinking maybe I'm, I'm going to steal the, the turbo anyway off the ED to use on the Datsun, which is starting to happen soon and I'll actually have some updates on the Datsun thing soon. At the moment I'm thinking maybe just steal the turbo like I'm gonna and put it on the Datsun and maybe just turbo the ED again as is. I'll give it another shot since the Canary wasn't for the turbo or anything. I might revamp the whole setup and hide the uh, heat exchanger. Uh, the, the water to wear setup will probably go on the Datsun as well uh, just because I have it and I need a new setup for the ED anyway. So I'm thinking maybe I'll, I'll turbo the ED again as it is with a new setup and yeah it won't be so low and hopefully I won't get a defect maybe I'll just leave it like that for a while but I still want to barrel swap eventually yeah so updates on Datsun soon and ED may well just stay single overhead cam for now and get another turbo after it's roadworthy yeah I don't know what else I'm saying <laughs>